And Donald Trump Jr. is defending himself tonight after coming under fire for his meeting with a Russian lawyer with times to ties to Vladimir Putin. The meeting followed a series of emails that appear to confirm something the president has been denying for months, that his campaign met with Russian officials hoping to influence the election. In retrospect, I probably would have done things a little differently. Again, Appearing on Fox News, Donald Trump sought to set the record straight about his meeting with Russian lawyer Natalia Veselnitskova at Trump Tower last year, a meeting he says went nowhere. For me, this was opposition research. They had something, you know, maybe concrete evidence to all the stories I'd been hearing about. Trump Jr. took to Twitter, releasing the entire email chain leading up to the controversial meeting. In the initial message, music publicist Rod Goldstone informed him that a Russian official had very high-level and sensitive information about Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton, part of Russia and its government's support for Mr. Trump, to which Don Jr. replied, if it's what you say, I love it. The emails came on the same day the Russian attorney, the focus of the meeting, repeatedly denied ever having compromising information about Clinton. In Congress, there's growing concern about Russian hacking and whether the White House is telling the truth. This is obviously very significant, deeply disturbing. This is something that's the most problematic thing I've seen thus far. Earlier, Deputy White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders read a statement from the president. My son is a high-quality high person, and I applaud his transparency. CBS News has confirmed special counsel Robert Mueller is expected to look into the meeting and Trump Jr.'s emails as part of the overall collusion investigation. Well, Trump Jr. said on Fox News that the Russian lawyer offered no relevant information for the campaign. He called the meeting a wasted 20 minutes.